Okay, so we have our uh, proposed network drawn. All our structures are in. Uh, we've assigned our areas to our inlets. Uh, we have our times of concentration and our runoff coefficients calculated. So let's go ahead and design the system. Okay, you see all our pipes are 18 inch. That's how we entered them. Um, all our manholes are 4 feet. And if you look at our inlets, they're all 3 feet by four feet. Um, we entered everything the same size and we'll just have inroads design it and when it does it will automatically resize all our structures. Okay, I'm going to come up here to drainage, edit review, I'll pick this pipe here and if you look down here you see structure status is set to fixed. Go to drainage, edit review, pick something else, pick this manhole structure status set to fixed. Everything is set to fixed. That's how we created and entered them. So the first thing we have to do is set the structure status to resize so inroads inroads can resize our pipes and manholes appropriately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a microstation fence around all of my structures or well let me correct myself, all of my proposed structures, obviously if you have existing uh, pipes and whatnot, you don't want to resize those. So I'm going to place a fence around all my proposed structures and then I'll go to drainage, structure, modify status, and then in this dialog box I'll choose from fence and I'll select the resize button, click apply, close and now let's or, well let me get rid of that fence and let me go to drainage edit review pick a pipe and now you see it's set to resize and let me go to drainage edit review pick anything else we'll pick this inlet there and it's set to resize close okay so now we have everything set to resize. Let's go ahead and design. Let's go to drainage, network, design, and then in this dialog box, in the design network dialog, let's click on the options button and under the design tab over here where it says structures you can set various design parameters like for example pipe uh, minimum height, that's that's the minimum size pipe. Let's let's say we want a minimum of a 12 inch pipe. Maximum, that's good. Uh, minimum velocity, let's set that to 2 feet per second. Maximum velocity, uh, let's say 15. Um, and down here you can set the, uh, this is the depth to height ratio for how full you want your pipes to flow. Um, it's probably more applicable for sanitary design, but you can use those parameters if you want. Um, come up here to the area tab and our rainfall method IDF file, which we already have. Uh, we set that in our project defaults earlier. Uh, this is where you choose your design storm, two year, 100 year, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and set the two year. Choose the inlet tab. Uh, this is all already set in our options. Okay, uh, let's see. Channel, minimum velocity, maximum velocity, culvert, maximum barrels. Yeah, let's say four. Actually I don't even think we have any culverts in this network. But anyway you can set your you know your design parameters here. Maximum headwater, velocity, inlet, uh, curb opening height for a combination inlet six inches or well a curb opening height is five inches, a curb height itself six and actually these numbers here are already set. Um, let's close, well, let's click apply. Once you finish setting all your parameters, go ahead and click apply. We'll click close. And 
some of those uh, inlet settings and whatnot are already set in your structures file. Uh, this is just a uh, text file. Uh, our structures file, for example, there's our pipes and our different materials and our your uh, roughness coefficients uh, circular and this is your standard ASCII text file that you can enter and edit you know put uh, if you have new structures you want to put in here's your styles and whatnot and let's go ahead and close that out and so back to our uh, design network dialog okay we want to generate a design log that'll generate a, a file that you can save as a text file so we'll go ahead and enable that enable time of concentration that will uh, that's similar to like what the rational method uh, the modified rational method uses that will take into account the travel time in your pipes when determining peak flow for each one of your areas and it helps to attenuate the flow get a little bit of smaller peak flow so we'll go ahead and enable that um... let's see we will yeah generate we want to generate our hydraulic and energy grade lines so we'll go ahead and keep that checked um... here's your option to use the depth to height ratios if you want to use that we'll, we'll keep that unchecked uh, here's your entrance loss coefficient for manholes and across uh, inlets and whatnot. And so when you have those set, uh, come up here and choose this button that says Tree Network Containing. Now I'll click the Target Selector button and click any structure in this network inlet, manhole, pipe, anything. We'll just click any pipe right there. Data point to accept. Tree network containing pipe number 62. Now after we select that, now just click apply. And this is the design log file. Uh, this gives you, you know, various results, your flows and your pipe sizes, etc. It's a good idea to save that. Click Save As and name it. We'll just go ahead and close that out. We'll close that out. And let's go ahead and annotate our structures again and we'll see what inroads did. Drainage, View, Annotate Structures. Uh, let me load my drainage preferences. Already loaded. I'll click Apply. Close. And you see some of our structures have been resized. We have some 15 inch pipes there, 36 inch. You see our manholes are resized to 3 feet, 5 feet. Uh, you see our inlets have been sized accordingly. This one has been increased. Looks like this one stayed the same size. And so now, once we have done that, let's go ahead and draw our profile and we will tweak this system a little further.